Hello, dear friends. <laughs> uh, what a journey it's been. YouTube. I'm just getting started still. Not much traction yet. I think I have like 11 subscribers. I don't know. It's funny. I'm starting to see some of my first trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. You know, they all say that. Some trolls are hungry for feeding. Some of them just want to understand. Others just want to act like assholes. You get so used to them acting like assholes. You forget some of them are uh, actually trying to understand something. Now what boggles my mind is what's so fucking hard to understand about compassion, love, not being an asshole, not wanting to control the world and everyone in it, not wanting to dominate by force. What's so hard to learn about that? What's so hard to learn... I mean, for Christ's sakes, you have it when you're born as a child. Is it that hard to come back to? Is it really that hard to find compassion? Everybody wants to find compassion for what affects them directly. That's the problem a lot of you Republicans have. Unless it affects you directly, it doesn't mean shit to you. It's not even real. Unless it personally affects you in your life. Or maybe... Maybe if you're just a little bit compassionate, Republican. Maybe if it affects someone's life that you love or care about, then maybe you'll also care. Right? But if it affects anyone else's life, you don't give two fucks. It's all about you. It's all about you and yours, right? That's what the Republican point of view is. We'll let the churches, right? We'll let the Red Cross do the charity work. The government's not here to do charity. The government's here to take people. or The government's here to kill people and take their land. In other countries. Right? That's what the government's for. The government's here to deregulate Wall Street so that the 1% can get all the fucking money while we turn into a third world country. Right? That's that's what the government's for. Right, right-wingers? All you care about is the rights of unborn fetuses and your guns. If the Republicans didn't have those two points, man, they wouldn't have shit. That's the only thing they're holding on to power with. It's the only thing they've been holding on to power with for a long time now. Because all the rest of their shit is bullshit, and everybody knows it. And the ones who vote for the guns and the embryos that have yet to gestate into fetuses, and, the and you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not completely one-sided on the abortion issue. I think the 20-week ban should be in place. There, I said it. Whenever the brain forms and starts to form and the heart's beating, there's a soul coming into the body and it should not be aborted. So boom, there I said it. There's my fucking opinion. All you libtards and, and Republican Trump tards can get offended. Both of you. <laughs> I'm here to please, motherfuckers. So, uh, yeah, the abortion issue is a tricky issue. You know, I don't want to get on a whole goddamn debate about the abortion issue. I could talk about it for a fucking hour about my point of view. I just gave a little simple view of my point of view. I'm a spiritualist. Of course, I'm not cut and dry on the abortion issue. And I, and I don't even really know. I don't even really know. My theory is when the heart's beating, that's it. You can't abort it. When the heart's beating and the brain is just starting to form, you cannot abort it. That's it. When it starts to look like a human and not a little fucking snail slug thing, then no, you can't abort it at that point. When it starts to have a human body form and heart, no abortion. That's my opinion. And how about some fucking re personal responsibility? Now I'm writing about fucking abortion. I came on here to fucking... This is the one issue I'm not full left on. That and the gun issue, honestly. Until all the guns are gone in this world and the governments have disarmed, I'll keep my fucking guns. Thank you very much. But, uh... Yeah, the fucking abortion issue. Here I am rambling about this. I came here to do a poem. If you want to just skip to the thing, it's a little late. I'm going to stop rambling here in a few seconds. But, well, maybe 45 seconds. But... The abortion issue, yeah. That's all you got. Abortion and guns. And even though I feel this way on those two little right-wing issues, right, 
I'm a liberal. I'm a liberal. Because I'm for the fucking collective. I'm for God. I'm for the greater good. I'm for less suffering. Okay? I'm a liberal. I'm a progressive liberal. I'm a fucking Bernie bro, y'all. Bernie bro all the way. Nina Turner needs to be the president. This is what's going to happen. In my opinion. This is my prediction. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Who's going to be the next president? Who's going to be the next president? Who's going to be the next president? I think it's Elizabeth Warren. And ideally, after that, it should be Nina Turner. I think Nina Turner should be the president. Nina Turner is the chosen one. Eventually, she'll get in there. I'm hoping she'll get in there after Elizabeth Warren. If not, maybe the time after that. It's hard to win an election. In this volatile time, things are flip-flopping so dramatically. It's, it's volatile. It's hard to say. But I think Elizabeth Warren is going to take it next. Now, enough rambling. On to the poem. Sorry. I got caught up in a fucking troll discussion this morning. I'm not even going to go into it. I've talked about it enough. There was a time when nothing was separate. The root of all our minds are still rooted there in the dormant parts of our DNA. Order was created because chaos is feared. By the linear mind, chaos is feared. Piece by piece, societies slowly chip away at the defama- defamation at the defamation of our souls. Boundless suffering bought and paid for. As long as it's foreigners, as long as it's brown people that are poor, they kidnap children at the border. Sessions filed a new law to ignore the Flores settlement where they and now they want to detain all the children and the asylum seekers indefinitely. That was the word they viewed we use in the document indefinitely which means how knows who knows how long also there's a lot of detraction people are saying yeah obama did this shit the babies in cages that was obama that's true obama was what i don't know 65 percent evil trump's 100 percent evil so yes that's true obama started this to some degree. He started it with, I forget, I think it was just kids that were crossing alone. But anyway, the point is, it was much lower numbers. I don't have the numbers in front of me because I didn't bother to look them up. I've already read them and seen them on multiple reports. And I'm not delving into everything. Just look it up yourselves. If you're not going to believe me anyway, just look it up. So yeah, Sessions filed that so they can detain him indefinitely. Obama did, but on a much smaller scale. And then he tried to dial it back. He saw what was happening. He's like, okay, this is fucked up. we got to stop it. Trump went full embrace the shit. There's hundreds of camps up now. And there's 12,800 kids now. It's not just the 3,000 anymore. And they're not telling us this shit. you got to go on independent news media to find it. And it's true, though. They are, were still, they stopped separating families. That's what they did. That's the only thing they did. What they didn't do was they didn't stop collecting all the children that cross on their own. The minors. People under 18 that cross on their own. They, they collect them. They put them in a camp indefinitely. It's 12,800 of them now. Whose kids are they going to come after next? So yeah, there's 12,800 of these kids now. Because they're, ki- they're still pouring in across the border by themselves. And then they grab them and they throw them in the fucking camp. There's hundreds of these camps in America now. Hundreds. Nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. So yeah. Back to the poem. That was addressing a troll. Okay. A think tank troll. Probably. Boundless suffering bought and paid for. Yeah. 
They kidnap children at the border. This is the order's new disgusting standard. You must not uphold it. You must speak out against it. It's judgment day. The choice is yours. The karma we're now in, we're in now, is like a surgeon's scalpel. And the cancerous tumor will be removed. Winston Churchill said it most succinctly when he said, America will always do the right thing after they have exhausted every other option. Well, we've already exhausted every other fucking option. The devil's playbook is empty. So, how about the right thing, government? Why don't you get your tongues out of Trump, tongues out of Trump's ass? Get your mouths around, out from around Satan's cock. And do the will of the fucking people for once, just for once in your fucking pathetic lives. Or is that too much to ask? It's just too much to ask. Right? Well, you dumbasses are going to be in for a rude awakening. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to go like you wanted to. You're going to feel like a bunch of fools and you're going to look even worse. 